Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to make Raspberry Pi a webcam server. Now to make Raspberry Pi a webcam server, we are having many options like FFW webcam or motion. But in this video, I will be demonstrating how to use motion software, how to configure it and how to make Raspberry Pi an active webcam server. Now before we start, let us first of all know something regarding Motion. Motion is a free and open source software which is available for Raspberry Pi to make it as a webcam server. And the latest version which we will be using is 3.1.12 plus Git 2014-648 version. So that I will be telling you in just a half of this video. So let us start. So let me first of all log in with Raspberry Pi and let me telnet Raspberry Pi into this my computer. So with my IP which I have already set. So you can see that login as pi and password is raspberry. So now you can see that I have got the prompt of pi and raspberry. So what I have to do is to first of all update the machine with the command that is sudo apt hyphen get update. So it will take some time depending on your net connection. So you can see that uh, some packages are being updated and it is about a 9 MB of packages which are to be updated. So let me tell you that I will be using Raspbian Pi that is Raspbian operating system that is Jesse which is the latest operating system for Raspberry Pi for 2016 and I have installed the fresh operating system onto my SD card and it has already been set it on to my Raspberry Pi and in a uh, you can say when I am going to start my motion I will be also showing you my configuration the live video of my Raspberry Pi along with my webcam. So stay tuned. So it will take some time because the, some international servers are getting at low speed. So let me pause the video for some time and we continue it once it's get finished. So now you can see that the packages are being updated and some of the packages will be there and it will be updated soon. So once it gets updated we will be starting with our main business that is the motion software installation and its configuration and with the live webcam server. So you can see that about uh, 9 MB has been downloaded and it has taken about th 3 to 4 minutes. So it is updating the package list. Okay, so let me clear this and now what we have to do is to install one package that is called motion. So sudo apt-get install motion. So you can see that it is about a 920 KB of archive and it will take about 5 MB of disk space. So let's press Y and press enter. So it has taken less than 5 seconds to download but it will take some time to configure and pre-configure the packages because some of the library files will be installed and some of the motion files will be installed and after it gets installed I will be connecting my webcam uh, which I am having that is of Microsoft LiveCam that is VX6000 version to my Raspberry Pi with a USB port and now let me connect my cam to the Raspberry Pi and it has been connected so let us confirm this so with the command that is ls usb so you can see over here we have the port that is over here Microsoft Corporation so now you can see that I have already installed that is my webcam which has been connected so if it is not been detected there is some problem you uh, that cam either may not be compatible with Raspberry Pi or you can just reboot Raspberry Pi to see whether it is connected or not but right now I'm making the Raspberry Pi webcam server with some third-party webcam like Microsoft but in my another video I will be using the default Raspberry Pi camera which is about a 5 megapixel camera and I will connect it to the camera port of Raspberry Pi and then we will making the second video that is of Raspberry Pi as with default webcam server so now now what we have to do is to give this command we have to configure so let me clear first of all so sudo nano which is the editor slash etc slash motion slash motion dot conf 
So this is the main configuration file and you can see that this config file is generated for motion 3.2.12 plus git 2014.0228. So make it sure because on YouTube I have seen that lots and lots of videos are being developed and now the options of, of motion has been changed. So the first thing which you have to see is to make it sure that the daemon is on. So you can see in the default file it is on. So no need to worry. Now what we have to do is to press control W and now we have to make the first option that is frame rate. So you can see that maximum number of frames can be captured per second. So I recommend that to give it at least 1000 or maybe 1500 depending on your webcam which means frame rate per second. And now what we have to do is to come to the section which is known as live webcam server section. So let me scroll down. So it will take some time to scroll down. So everything is being made clear and cut over here. So lots and lots of options are there. Okay. okay, this is the live stream server and now yes, so we have to go to this, yes, live stream server. So the first option that is called stream port that is 8081, you can either change it to any port but the default port is 8081 or 8080. The next thing is called the stream quality. You can just change it 50 or maybe some other thing. You can do it. So you can just come over here. That is stream localhost. We have to take it as off. And now we have to come downstairs to the another thing that is called HTTP based control. So over here we have the web, the web control localhost. We have to again change it to off. And now what we have to do is to search one thing that is called quality. So the quality is 75 so I change it to 100. So after that I have to search the width. Okay. So let me go upstairs. Some options are downstairs, some options are upstairs. So make it sure that you do options in a correct manner. So there is some pain in doing these options but we have to do. Okay, so here is the brightness, contrast, okay, so we have the width, we have to change it to 640 and height as per your webcam, I change it to 480 and you can even set your other options that is called your brightness, let me tell you where it is, there is a brightness, I can change it to 20, some uh, cam can give you black and white images but you have to tweak these settings like brightness, contrast, saturation and even hue as per your uh, requirements and the last but not the least we search it that is the post underscore capture. So here is the setting, so it is 0, so we have to change it to number 5. So we have to save these settings, so open, press Control X, yes and press enter. Now we have to edit one more file with the, with the name sudo nano slash etc slash default slash motion. So start motion daemon, so let us change it to no from yes. So press Control X, yes, enter. So now what we have to do is to give this command that is sudo service motion restart. So make it sure right now it will not be started unless or until you give this command that is sudo motion. So now it is started so now what I do I just go to my host machine and I type the IP address let me take the IP address of this machine it is 192.168.1.101 so let me copy this and now let me paste it. 192.168.1.101 colon 8081 so now you can see that the cam has started and uh, I can even wave to, uh, like this you can see my hand and somewhat clarity can be some difference over there but uh, no need to worry you can just change some settings and you can do that beautifully and uh, let me tell you the settings also uh, which, uh, which I have done uh, of Raspberry Pi So here is the Raspberry Pi that is B2 model and I have connected my power cable over here and here I have the Ethernet port as well as connected my USB to my uh, Raspberry Pi which is a Microsoft webcam which I am using for motion. So uh, this is my setting which I have done for Raspberry Pi.
So in this video I have demonstrated how to install webcam on Raspberry Pi, how to configure Raspberry Pi as a webcam server using Motion. So I hope that you do like this video and do share with your friends and, and do uh, give this a shot. It's a very important video for making Raspberry Pi as a live webcam server. Thank you so much for watching.